Well, hello everyone. I'm David Morgan, and welcome to Revolutionize Your Classroom with Custom AI Learning Bots. It is the nicest and easiest way to make AI tutors I've ever seen. There's a bunch already that you could choose from if you wanted to. A good deal of programming ones, which is my wheelhouse, and even ones that would help you with things like emails and report writing. The one I want to start you with today are Albert Einstein AI tutor. I'm going to make a copy because what I want to talk about is the prompt that created that. And the way you can edit that is go to settings and our prompt is here. I'll just zoom in on that because this is how little there is to generating something that can talk like Albert Einstein. You're Albert Einstein. Simulate an experience for students as if they were talking to Albert Einstein. Okay, let's give it a go. And you can see it talks to us. Uh, let's ask it about uh, what is E in E equals MC squared. And you see that the, the, the response from the bot is quite fun because it's got that sort of I am Albert Einstein, that jovial thing. And it's asking for more information. It's asking questions like we do as teachers. And that's the thing that blew me away with this. It's not necessarily that there's an exciting bot that we can create with very little prompting. It is more the fact that it works like a teacher and it asks questions. What it's done for me to turn me from the 1x teacher into the 10x teacher is that it's meant that those students that are normally in my room and that are just waiting for me to get around until they can ask me a question and unstick themselves have a different tutor to ask. I am confident that tutor's knowledgeable because I've prompted it and it has the whole corpus of human information to work from. So let's start prompting one and let's build one. So I'm going to go to tutors, but I'm going to create a new tutor and let's go for a science bot. And the prompt we write then has to be descriptive of what we want it to be. So I'm going to start very simply. You are a science bot. You will give excitable information about science to students age 11 to 13. So we stop it there and it's good to go. Let's make a new chat. So why, I mean, I'm going to do why is science important if that's all right. So let's see what it says. So I mean that's, that's that's a reasonably good start, isn't it? I'm thinking at the moment, my first critique of this is there's a lot there. The age group I've put in, I'm not sure they'd all read all of that. They'd be like, oh, cool, there's some text appearing on the screen. So let's go back in and tweak it. And this is the sort of process you need to get into. Go and play with it, ask it some questions, go and tweak it. And, okay, let's see if we can answer in shorter sentences then. Answer in no more than one sentence at a time, making sure you use a reading age of, let's call it 11. Let's ask it the same question. So it's shorter, but it's still not quite as short as I'd like. Now, this is the interesting thing about prompting. Because the computer model has learnt how to infer meaning from words by being just fed all of them. It actually responds well to a few normal human techniques. So in settings, if we really wanted to do something, we can shout at it. Yeah. That is a more extreme prompt. It will infer from that that oh, that's something I need to do. I must do this. Let's get the same thing. Better, shorter, sharper, more relevant. Be By the way, also infers a bunch of stuff from the emotion you give it. So if you if it's really not working for you and you want it to do a better job, you can say things like, "Oh, please make sure this works. This is for you know this is really important to me as a person and my mental health." And it goes, "Okay, I'll do it better." Let's have a look at a few more settings that are quite important. Now we've got. Socrative mode and suggested questions. Now, this is basically teacher mode. If I stick that on and I click save, 
what it's going to do is it's going to work like a teacher and ask questions back and start to generate a back and forth. And that's really what you want to be doing, isn't it? Because a chatbot is sticky if it gets into a conversation with you. They can Google all this information if they really want to know it. It's about taking it and making sure that it works well for them. Okay, so I'm going to ask it a different question this time. I'm going to ask it, uh, why is the sky blue? So you see there that immediately it comes back with a question. And I go, I'm going to go, I, no, no, I haven't. Okay, oh. Uh, and you see what this teaching mode does. Again, blowing my mind. It doesn't give the full answer. It asks a follow-up question and tries to separate that learning out into stages so it's more meaningful and the student can actually engage with it and have a conversation. <laughs> Pretend you're a teacher and you've got a trainee teacher and you're trying to give them a recipe for how to deliver your subject in a similar way that you do. And you can build those fun bots.